Hi guys, Matt from Fitty London here. Hope all is well. Uh, I wanted to talk today about how and why I got into meditation and um, why, if you're open to it, you should maybe give it a chance to. Uh, but to rewind, my dad, uh, and obviously if you've seen my guide, I'm going to make the same hilarious joke. Uh, my, my dad has meditated for more than 50 years. Not continuously. Pause. Wait for applause. Uh, but I'd always, I don't know, I guess when you see someone doing something and they say do it, it's sometimes human nature to be like, oh, no, no thanks, I'm going to do the exact opposite. So I got to 36 years of age without ever actually trying it or building it into my life. And then on a whim last summer, I can't even re really remember why. I would say I was sleeping badly, but I always sleep badly, so lol. Uh, I thought, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. I'm going to stick to it and do it for seven, eight, nine, ten days in a row. And all I did was get up in the morning. It is actually, it, did, it was candy that it was summer because obviously the mornings were light and warm. Got up in the morning, had my glass of water, went to the bathroom. Uh, <laughs> like that's a big controversy. Went to the bathroom and then went and sat in my living room, shut my eyes, set my timer on my phone on silent but for, for like to buzz in five minutes and tried to just focus on my breathing and clearing my head. Um, and, and that's... And that's all I did. And it was tough at first because you've got so many thoughts, especially when you're used to checking your phone as soon as you wake up, like I was. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, I've got to see what Linda in HR has got up to on Facebook over the night, uh, during the night. But I did stick at it. And, again, it's not something tangible you can feel necessarily immediately. But it was about 10 days later when all of a sudden... Um, I'm just going to steady the camera a bit. No, oh God, pro professional! Damn you. I'm not sorry again. This is too good. Um, I suddenly noticed during the day, I was like, oh, I, I feel calmer. I feel more capable. I feel confident. All the C's. Uh, and that was how it started. And I realised that it just this five, six, seven minutes of, of shutting my eyes really made a big difference to my daily mental health. Uh, instances of anxiety were reduced. Things that bothered me before bothered me less. Um, I just felt like I could cope with what the day was going to throw at me. And that's why um, I recommend it now to all my clients online and face to face, just as a lovely additional. It's always like it's like a treat to yourself. I know that sounds wanky. Um, it's just a way to look at another way to look after yourself because life is tough. Life is busy, stressful. There are so many pulls on us in lots of different directions. But just taking this time in the morning can just pay dividends and make you really benefit you internally. And I always say start from the inside out. Not that I don't want you to do uh, workouts to build a strong body, but if you're happier on the inside, you're definitely going to be happier with the outside and also what other people think of you on the outside. Um, all I do is sit quietly, uh, not in bed, because I think I would fall back to sleep, set a timer and then shut my eyes for five minutes and focus on my breathing, generally for a count of four, count, sorry, pronounce my T, count of four in and four out. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And that's it. Um, it's uh, another thing, yeah, that I really benefit from doing it regularly the I'm definitely kinder to other people, less judgmental, less judgy. Uh, and that means in turn, I'm kinder to myself as well. Uh, and as RuPaul famously says, if you can't love yourself, how in the hell are you going to love somebody else? And that's so true. You have to be kind to yourself. You have to be able to uh, put yourself first and find who you are and look after yourself first before you can help anyone else. So that's all I do. Uh, a quick tri a tip. Um, when I'm, if I'm, when I'm meditating, if things do come into my mind, I imagine them as a bubble, which then pops and then clears. That again takes a bit of practice, but most things take a bit of practice to be able to do them reasonably well. Or you can imagine like Minority Report swiping them away left and right. Uh, I've got a, got a free guide which I'd love to send you if you wanted. Uh, drop me either a comment here or on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook or wherever the hell you see me most places uh, and I would be delighted to send you the guide of how to get started and see if just five minutes or so a day of meditation can help you feel happier and help you find your place in the world and just feel confident about who you are in 2018 which let's be honest is a bit of a shit show so yeah meditation don't be put off you don't have to do 45 minutes and find zen it's all available just in five minutes in your living room every morning thanks guys